what you are seeing here is the ground section of the bone. Unlike the other histology slides, this slide is not uh, in pink and blue, not in hematocyl and eosin. What you are seeing is uh, this black or shades of grey. First you have to get oriented. This is the whole slide and this is the thumbnail of that slide. This is actually a sector of a, of a whole long bone. You have to imagine a long bone like this. Okay, That long bone is uh, cut as a cross section and this is a sector of that. So in this image you have to understand that this is the medullary canal and this is the periosteal side of that bone. So in that if I zoom in you can see what is the architecture of the uh, bone in microscopic perspective. If I zoom in uh, you can see a, a peculiar black spots like here throughout the bone and around that you can see ring like arrangement of tissue. That is actually the calcified bone matrix. The one that you see as black that is actually a space. Okay, the space are shown here as black in the ground section of the bone. Uh, so this is the haversian canal. Though you see it as a dot, it is actually a tube like this. That is the haversian canal. And around that haversian canal, you have layers of bone matrix. Calcified bone matrix are arranged as layers. It's almost like the growth rings of a tree. When you cut a tree in a cross section, you will see a, a central part and the growth rings around it. So like that, you can see the haversian canal here and you can see rings around it. This is called the concentric lamellae. If you look at the whole picture again, uh, this is a single arrangement of concentric lamellae. This is called a haversian system. You can see another haversian system here. You can see another haversian system here. You can see another haversian system here. But you can also see a lamellar architecture which does not have a haversian canal in the center. So these are called the interstitial lamellae. Okay. So you can see interstitial lamellae will be sandwiched between haversian systems. So these are the two major type of lamellar bone that is arranged within a compact bone. You have another type of lamellar system which is found on the periphery of the bone. You can, you can have an outer circumferential lamellae and an inner circumferential lamellae which may be less conspicuous in this slide. Uh, so this type of lamellar architecture is very important for the strength of the bone. If this lamellar architecture is not there, you call it a woven bone. Woven bone is less strong. Lamellar architecture is very important for the mechanical integrity of the bone. Now, if I zoom into one of this haversian systems to learn more of it, you can see the haversian canal in the center. Around that you can see one lamella, another lamella, another lamella. And between these lamella, you can see other black spots. As I mentioned before, black regions are actually showing spaces. So these spaces are called lacunae. So you can see a lot of lacunae surrounding the haversian canal. So what is the location of this lacuna? If I take this lacuna out like this, if you imagine this is a lacuna and this is a haversian canal. Okay, Around the haversian canal you have a lamella around it and between this lamella and the next lamella between it you have the lacuna. You imagine this is a lacuna, the lacuna has one ha lamella on this side, on the haversian canal side and another lamella on the outer side. So like this, you have a lot of lacunae arranged between lamellae. Lacunae are the sites of osteocytes. So osteocytes are located within this lacuna and the osteocytes will leave off processes, cytoplasmic processes. Osteocyte is a cell, it will leave off cytoplasmic processes that will go out and uh, penetrate through holes, through canals in the lacunae and they are called canaliculi. So the canaliculi will be directed either towards the haversian canal or they will be directed away from the haversian canal. You can see this exact pattern in this picture. If you look at this, you can see lacuna here and you can see faint thread like lines on both sides. One is going towards the haversian canal and the next is going outwards. So they are radially arranged uh, canaliculi which contains the cytoplasmic processes. So as I mentioned before, haversian canal will contain uh, small vasculature, the lacunae will contain osteocytes and these canaliculi will, will contain cytoplasmic process. But all these that you see here as black are actually spaces. Uh, so you can see one uh, uh, canaliculi will be sort of communicating with another canaliculi of the next lacunae. So like that the cytoplasm will communicate of one cell will communicate to another cell in the periphery and to another cell in the periphery to the periphery of that uh, haversian, a single haversian system. So this is roughly the architecture of a single haversian system in a cross section. Now if we uh, look at another view, I am going to another slide uh, and here you can see uh, the color is almost looking similar. But there is a, a difference here. There is no ring like pattern. So th this is actually the longitudinal section of the haversian canal. Earlier we saw a, a haversian canal like this with rings around it. But if I take this haversian system and place it like this and take a cut 
like this instead of a cross section if i cut a longitudinal section you can see a haversian canal here and around that you can see concentric lamella but this doesn't look concentric anymore because the cut orientation the slice orientation is now longitudinal but you can again see that uh, pattern of haversian canal in the center then the lamella then the lacunae then the next lamella then the next lacunae so you can see the concentric lamella are now arranged like this but you are cutting it in, in a longitudinal fashion so these are the two uh, views of slides that you will see in bone one is a cross section where you will see concentric lamellae arranged as rings and the next is longitudinal section where you will see haversian canal arranged almost longitudinally now another aspect in this uh, longitudinal section is you can see one haversian canal is sort of communicating with another haversian canal through a channel these are called perforating canals or Wokman's canals. You can see that sort of arrangement throughout this bone. If I zoom it out, you can see one uh, haversian canal here, another haversian canal is sort of communicating here, through here. These are called Wokman's canals. Wokman canals are also seen in the other view. I'm shifting, switching back to the uh, this view where you can, can you see uh, a haversian canal here is having a, a, an extension over here. So you have to imagine this three dimensionally. This is a haversian canal that will give off an extension to the next haversian canal. And when I cut it cross sectionally, you will see one haversian canal having an extension. So that is what you are seeing here. You can see that sort of extensions of one haversian canal to another haversian canal throughout this bone when you look at the big picture of the bone. So all this you can understand if you get a three dimensional perspective of the, of the bone.